Our February birthday quilt block of the month is a candle block. And before I show you how easy this is to make, we are going to show you our finished quilt. Now we just got this back from the Long Island Quilter a couple weeks ago. And look how marvelous this looks. We've added our embellishments. And our cute little bows right here. And we added a cherry on top with a button. But you could also do a yo-yo if you want to keep with the fabric theme. And you then, can of see course, the our birthday presents and then the banner. And um, we have a great long arm quilter, and she added, since we had empty space right here, she added everyone's birthday and their name on these corners. And you probably can't see those, but if you got close, you would be able to see a name and birthday. And we also added a few birthdays to party hats. So your long arm quilter can really add a lot of fun to And just quilt. make it more personable for you. So let's get going on this easy block. It's our candle block. So let's talk about this candle row. It consists of six blocks. There's three blocks in each colorway. So a total of six blocks. And they're just repeated. Right. And so what row. you'll want to cut is four strips of your clean white at two and a quarter inches by the width of the fabric. And then of each of these colors, you'll want to cut one strip two inches by the width of the fabric. Okay. And then what we'll do is show how those get sewn together. Move this out of the way. So we've got these sewn. Yes. And we've already got this section, our first blocks cut out. Right. So when we're sewing these strips together, we use a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay. And then one of the things I like to do when I'm pressing is to make sure I press to the dark side. Okay. And I like to, when I'm doing strips like this, I like to sew to, two together, you know, get a good press and then add. Some people so wait. So press as you go. Press as you go. Some people yes. like to press when they're all done. But yes. It seems to work better if you press. Right. It's important to get your measurement because this across here from here to here should measure eight and a half inches. And so each of these sections we'll cut is going to be measured seven and a quarter by eight and a half. Okay, so we're going to measure and cut right here. So you line beginning. up your selvages. Yep, and I'm just going to begin by cutting right on that line. Now when I cut, I like to go a hair larger mm -hmm. than the line. And that gives me a, an exact measurement. So you should already have your measurement on the side, so you're just cutting the length of your candlesticks. Right. So every seven and a quarter inches. So there's one. And then let's get this other one lined up here. If you have to, you can square up again because you've got plenty. And let's do another one here. And then we just need one more. Remember this is seven and a quarter inches. And just go a hairline bigger. So we only need three blocks. We, you can see that we've got a little extra. So you can do another block. Make a cute little label for the back of your quilt. Always need to label your quilt. Don't you? Yes. All right. So we've got three of these. And we're going to begin by lining these up. And really what we're doing, this is how they'll go. And you'll see by the layout of the quilt picture that there's sashing in between each of these. But we're just going to do the six blocks. And so to the top of each block, we're going to have a one and three quarter by eight and a half inch strip, which we've already cut. You'll have two strips of one and three quarter by the length of your fabric. fabric. You'll cut six of these, one for each of your blocks. So you'll want to make sure that these are going to the top in the direction that you need them to. And what happens is we'll have sashing up here. And then just before you take it to the quilter, at the very end, when we're putting the sashing together, we'll do the, cat, the flames. And we'll be talking about that next. So let's so go ahead and again, sew all these. it's important which, which side of the it is. block you put this. Correct. If you want it in the same order we have it in. So. All right. Okay, we'll take it to the machine and we'll sew our strips on. 
So we've sewn our blocks. Yeah. We just need to give them a good yep. press. We'll just press them. And really, the last thing we're going to do is do the flames. So I'm going to grab the quilt. Okay. So just finishing these. We finish up our row. We're actually not going to assemble it today. And then this, you can see how those go right there. So your blocks will go on like this, and then once we assemble the quilt, you'll have your sashing on the sides and on the top, and that's actually when you are going to right. put your flames on. So you're going to save these for later. Right. And so there's several methods. Just use your favorite. You could needle turn them under. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you how to use interfacing. So we have a lightweight interfacing, and if it is sticky on one side, you'll want to put that together with the right side of your fabric. Because you're going to turn it inside Right. Out. But first off, we'll just take this and we'll trace through our, onto our template on our line. All right. So you can see where we've traced, and it takes up less space if you can keep them together. And then, of course, your tracing line becomes your stitching line. And you okay. just stitch from one end to the other because we're doing the interfacing. Correct, line. yes. Okay. And so let's go ahead and cut You've them out. I've done. got one here already. If you want to cut that out. Just leave a little quarter inch or Yeah, even I'd say eighth of an inch. Eighth. These are tiny, and you could even use pinking shears if you wanted to get right in there so that curved edge mm -hmm. will be nice when you turn it. And then you'll just grab this little part right here and make a slit and then you're going to turn it through that slit. So I'll let you do that. Turn it with either a chopstick or something that will get your edges in. These are little. So They're you tiny. Can <laughs> you can watch TV and turn your Yes. And we're doing ni 19 of these. 18, 19. one for each of these blocks. But there, there, there's one on top of the cake in oh, the middle. Oh, the birthday cake. Okay. So you want 19 of these. You might as well do 19. Get them all done at yes. once because they're all the same size, right? And once you've turned this, you just want to get that stick and get up into all your little corners, turn them out, and then once you've got that all nice, you'll want to press it. And then we'll just kind of put these aside. You'll have your blocks all your little flames and they'll be ready to sew on at the very end. So there you go. Just we just and I think it, one of the tips is I always put it on underneath I your seam on the fabric side so you don't kind of tear through your interfacing and you can get a good And there you go. Turn. So there you go. There's another flame. flame. There you go. Okay, so these turned out great. We hope you enjoyed our February block of the month. Join us next month for our next block in our birthday quilt.